Hey, good day everyone. You got Lila Sash over here. It's Tuesday, July 9th. Fair to come to you guys for a shave. I know I didn't get one in the last weekend. I was away for a family wedding, some family events. First time getting a chance, really have been in front of my camera here and get this done for you. I'm back in my den. Excuse me, recovering a little bit from the whole visit, uh, trip. So, going to be a fairly quick video for today, guys. Today, I get going again, going to the family cabin for a couple days and coming back for another family wedding. Just hectic. Now, today, I was going to be using a sample shade for you. It's all right, by the way. I was going to use some no water. I changed my mind because I remember today is the anniversary of the third passing of my dad's death. Um, so for his, for that, I always, always, always use Chisel Face Midnight Stag. Just 100% reminds me of my dad. We're not going to talk about the soap today. I mean, Chisel Face is a great, great base, tallow base. And this is leather, gasoline, smoke, and wood. It's only to know all those sets put together. She reminds me perfectly of my dad. <clears throat> I'm going to spend a little more time talking about today. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see I just got my hands on this. The uh, Razor Rock Stainless Steel V1. The second shave on this, and I have two and a half days of growth here. I haven't shaved since Sunday at 9 a.m. And this is now Tuesday at about 1 p.m. I have a big chunk of this smashed up into my Thirsty Badger Shave Bowl. I'm using my Frugal Shave 3D printed lightsaber brush. And I'm going to get this mixed up. We'll get it started here, get the lather going, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. See all lathered up, ready to go. Clean the runway, this is what GeoFap player would say. Did a primary bowl lather today. Did some scrubbing on the face, add a little more water to get it going. So, like I said, Hawk Stainless Steel V1. Don't think you can get these anymore. They were V2s. Um, I had a V2 one time, aluminum. Didn't agree with me. I had Kai Pink's net and Feather Pros. Got rid of them. This is, was kindly lent to me to try, and now I've been told I can keep it. So we'll see what this is like if I can start getting along with these. So off the bat, the first thing I noticed between this and the V2, besides the looks, obviously they're more rounded heads. This is more angled straight back. Definitely the weight from the stainless steel over the aluminum. I definitely uh, prefer that. The one was way too light in my opinion. Angle is real easy to find on this. Now I don't know if it's the blade or the razor differences, but I do find this um, more mild and comfortable than the V2, but also just as efficient. I don't know if that's the difference in the blade itself or razor design. Uh, like I said, this is a different blade than I used to use. And one little weeper. Not too bad. Definitely doing a better job than. Uh, any artist club SE razor that uh, blade razor that I've tried before. 
So the Hawks. What was the other one they tried? I only tried two of them. It'll come back to me. But the first box was pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty eventful. Did a good job. Hey, see, I don't think you can get this razor anymore. No, I'm pretty sure you can't unless it's secondhand market. So, I was very fortunate to get this offered to me. <laughs> All right. I know some guys will uh, look up their lather again in between their passes, but after the first pass, I think everything's nicely hydrated, been worked in. I just pin it back on. Seems to be pretty good so far. I will say about this scent on the soap, um, very man, very masculine. I mean, the gasoline. Uh, the leather, even the smoke's all there right up front for me. The wood, not so much, but it's there. And it's a very strong scent. I mean, this is a strong scented soap. I quite like that. Against the grain. Sorry, across the grain. Sure you can hear my kids in the background. Apologize for that. They were cooped up in the car yesterday for like eight, nine hundred kilometers. So they're a little wild. Wearing off some energy. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. I don't think it's my closest shave I've had. Um, it feels really nice. Let's see if we can clean up here on the Gansley Green Pass. Make sure they have coverage. <laughs> Five year olds trying to be bossy. Hope the camera angle is okay, guys. Hold this for the right in water. Not speaking there. Uh, like I said, I hope the camera angle is okay. I, uh, I was getting ready for this, put my camera up, or my phone up for this, and everything fell. I had to hit everything, the razor went flying, the soap went flying, it was a damn mess to be honest with you. But, anyways, so against the grain. Pretty good. 
quite BBS there, but it'll be fine. The audio feedback from this race is pretty good. Definitely no issue with that. Doing a fine job. So I do definitely prefer the weight of this over the last one I tried. So, like I said, chiseled, bit, chiseled face is a good base, more than enough residual here. So, through three passes. Very uneventful for DFS right now. I'm just going to do some cleanup. Uh, over here, sure my nose. In case I'm going to sneak up my schnoz anymore, I've decided. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So, did the quick cleanup. I have my nose in here. Clip my chin a little bit. Did a warm water rinse, cool water rinse. A little alum there on the bleeper that was top of like a pimple or something. I took off and grow hair maybe. Um, I did try to do a swipe around here. Ended up getting myself a little bit right there. Did it without any soap or residual. I was a dumbass. Just found a few hairs that were trying to bug me. Wasn't being smart. So for the post, I'm gonna match it up. Chisel face, midnight stag. Alcohol based. Very strong scent. Believe it or not, my wife quite likes this too. So it's a win-win for me. A little bit of string, not bad. And we're golden. Feels pretty good. So hope the camera angle is okay, everyone. I uh, like some of the camera everything fell today, so I put it back up and. Kind of remember where I had it. If it's uh, problematic, let me know. So a quick review for everyone today. Not where to put it, here it is. Soap of today we use was Chisel Face, Midnight Stag, Tallow Based Leather, Gasoline, Smoke and Wood. Great base, awesome sense. I know it's very poor light, polarizing. Some guys love it, some guys hate it. I've heard it from both, both factions, both sides. Brush, Frugal Shave, 3D, Printed lightsaber handle, 24 millimeter blood knot, thirsty badger, ceramic shave bowl. Excuse me. Now what we really talked about primarily today, you know, a little bit, my, little bit about my dad, not much really, but was the Razor Rock V1 Hawk stainless steel, how it compared for me to the, my V2s that I had that were aluminum. Definitely my preference is right here. I think I got a way better shave uh, way less blood than I ever got with a V1. I like the weight. Just like the overall feel of it is better. Um, maybe a V2 in stainless steel. I might have to try and get my comparisons. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a great last weekend. I know I did all the family time. Everything was crazy. It was hectic, tiring, but I loved it. It's great seeing everyone. Um, hope you have a wonderful week. I'm off to spend more time with family during my holidays here uh, at the cabin. And I'm hoping to get another video for you guys on Friday. 
because uh, this following weekend is another hectic one for me too. More family wedding, more family stuff. So take care. Happy shaving. See you soon.